Hello, I'm independent financial advisor, Simon Hobbs. You know something potentially really big is going down in the world of cryptocurrencies. It looks like some of Wall Street's biggest players, basically the establishment, are succeeding in their pressure campaign to get the regulator, the SEC, to allow them to sell cryptocurrencies, all the household names that we know, to sell those from Wall Street in an ETF wrapper. You know what an ETF is. An ETF is the modern version of a mutual fund. It holds baskets of investments, usually at cheaper cost than a mutual fund, and they trade in real time on the stock market next to stocks. Why is this important? This is important because it means if you or I or a corporation wants to buy crypto, we don't have to physically go out and buy it. We just buy the ETF that Wall Street is offering. And that solves two clear problems. I mean, the first is it's always been slightly risky to go onto an exchange and to buy or trade your own physical tokens. I mean, you've seen the blow-ups, you've seen the accusations of fraud, particularly overseas. Well, now you don't have to do that. Wall Street's going to do the buying for you. No liability. The second problem that it solves is once you bought the crypto, where do you store it? Now, you could store it on the exchange on which you bought it, but they'd have your digital codes. And again, you've seen the allegations of, of, of fraud and blow-ups and all the rest of it. Or you could use one of these to store your crypto. This is a cold wallet, basically a metal gadget that you buy off the internet onto which you download all your data and then you put it somewhere safe. The problem is that this then becomes a little bit like cash. You could lose it or alternatively, you could lose or mislay or forget the codes that actually access it. I mean, a lot of people a lot of people nowadays would use the online digital wallets. They would be probably the best trade-off between security and access. And in that, your crypto lives in the, in the cloud, in the blockchain, and you have the digital codes on your app. But all these questions become redundant if you're not having to store your crypto. Because the Wall Street guys with the ETFs, they've got to store the crypto. They will have to find custodians. It's not your liability anymore. The people that are trying to get this going on Wall Street are doing so because they believe there's going to be a huge wave of buying into the industry as a result. That you or me or the corporations or the pension funds will feel more comfortable buying a regulated ETF than the physical crypto coins. And you may find in the future, not so far away perhaps, that if it is a good idea, you'll be able to put crypto ETFs into your retirement plan or your pension plan. You know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of clients don't really discuss their crypto holdings with their financial advisors. I mean, that's partly because they don't want to be told again that it's a Ponzi scheme. Or maybe they're embarrassed because they had losses that they racked up before. Or more likely, it's because they also know that their financial advisor is heavily restricted on what they can say or do. But we can have this type of conversation. We can talk about the rules of thumb and attempt to educate each other. Because crypto is here. I mean, it's the first question on your tax return. And that question, an awful lot of people get absolutely wrong. Talk to your qualified tax advisor. And if you're into taxes, not to get into the weeds, but crypto is exempt from the wash rule. Yes, talk to your qualified tax advisor. If you own digital assets, then for goodness sake, make sure that they are in your trust. What do you own? Where do you own it? And how can you access it? Otherwise, if you do pass, people may not be able to get their hands on it or treat it with the priority that it deserves. And if you smell divorce, get with it on the crypto. Because crypto is like the modern equivalent of, of, of diamonds and gold that are easily manipulated, oftentimes by the person that is leaving the relationship who may have more knowledge, technical knowledge of the crypto world. The good news is that a good forensic accountant should be able to track exactly where those cryptocurrencies have gone. These are the types of conversations that we at, financial, at California Financial Partners have all the time with our clients. If you'd like to hear more of them, then please like and follow as you normally would. Or alternatively, you could simply reach out to us. I'll buy you a coffee. 
let's talk about how we could help you.